Oh, Jennifer Tilly? What the freak? <laughs> the hell's she doing in this? Coming to the big screen, Walt Disney Pictures proudly presents Gargoyles. <gasps> I love that show. From the studio that put Eddie Murphy in the Haunted Mansion, Kira Knightley as a pirate, and Mila Kunis as the Wicked Witch, we present another phenomenal miscasting with... Kanye West as Goliath. Yeah, I'm stoned by day and batshit crazy monster by night. Also, I'm apparently in a movie. Because you love our film versions of Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. Even though we already have film versions of Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. Why they do that shit? We bring you another misunderstanding Money. of source material by casting Ellen DeGeneres as Elisa Maza. Bitch, who the fuck are you? Zing. I'm your love interest. Say what, you clam chatter cracker? Don't worry, I've seen worse. I dated Anne Heche. That's an old joke, kids. If you don't get it, ask your parents. Of course, if you're watching this, you are your parents. Okay. Not so fast. With Kevin Costner as the villainous Xanatos. I am Xenatos. Xanatos! I don't care. I have sent up my robotic army. If you wish to save the people, <laughs> you will have to fly up there and stop them. Bitch that fuck! I don't do any flying unless I have a crown of thorns or a halo. What are you supposed to do? Let all those people die? Maybe. Shut it, postman. I could buy you like my wife. I am Xanax Toe. Xanax Toe! I don't care. I didn't watch the show. His wings here. Yeah, it's like the Professor You're X. Beyonce should be in this It's not X Xanatos. Like it should really have a Z. Gargoyles. Coming soon to a theater near. Hey, let go of me. What? I'm going to let you finish, but I want you to know that Bonkers is one of the greatest shows of all time. And we deserve a movie about a cartoon character and a cop. We have two. We need three. Hey, you want to hear about the show I'm producing that's going to bomb? Bitch, don't make me chop you up and smoke you. I am Santa Hose. Santa Hose. <laughs> so Crazy continues to tell Murphy's wife about his dead wife, claiming the events happened to his grandfather instead of to himself. And he loved her more than life. Itself. But they were from different worlds and couldn't be together. Hey, hey! We tiptoe towards racism not existing in Princess and the Frog. We can do the same thing here. Dad! Dad! So the kids meet up with Murphy and try to find out what to do. Dad? Yes, ma'am. I see dead people. Hey, that doesn't date this at all! Why don't you just throw in a getting jiggy reference while you're at it? He wants to try to get jiggy with my wife? Pretty much. Why the hell not? Did I also forget to mention that you are the weakest link, Houston, we have a problem, and somebody just did a great cave drawing of a buffalo? This was to have been her wedding dress. It would have been lovelier still if she'd ever had a chance to wear it. Uh, that's nice, Mr. Gracie, but we've been talking about this for three hours now. Can we finally change the subject? Yeah. He was willing to throw everything away for love. Well, now he's broke, dead, and cursed. Nice move. I stepped in a 40s cartoon sound effect. And as is typical of bad adaptations, they take one of the coolest parts of the original source and make it easily the most annoying part of the entire movie. It's by the, um, by the light, by the light, by the light of the silvery I moon. I gotta help my wife now. She'll be coming, coming round the mountain when she comes, when she comes. She'll be coming Are you laughing yet? No? Fucking more! Where's the key? Where's the beautiful key? Find the key, find the key. The key. The key. Oh, you left your key. Oh, your two-year-old is laughing, but you're not. But you're not. Unless you're smoking a gigantic brick of pot. Brick of pot. We're annoying and obnoxious, and you probably should have shot us. Please don't hold back then and give us what you got. What, what you got. got. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a warning. Now, how do you know that? I studied Latin for three years, Dad. You thought it was dumb, remember? Gee, a daughter who speaks Latin and a son with a Houdini poster? Stop! The realistic kid measurements are off the chart! The son stays behind as the daughter goes with him down below. The shield, it's the second marker. But it's guarded by the walking doll, causing them to drop the key. Did you get the key? I'm looking, I'm looking. Have everything completely under control. And I'm not just saying that because every person who has ever said that in the history of mankind has always met with the exact opposite reaction. Uh, oh my god! Creepy creatures are actually in front of me and not CG! This is so rare in this movie! Come on, can't you CG in Kazoo or the Twilight Baby or something? Uh, 
there you go. Um, Fake CG spiders. God, this film felt naked for a second. Open the door, I'll kill you! Just open the door, please, man. We're running out of time. Open the door right now. Sorry, I need the customary minute and a half to perform the overcoming my fears cliche. Minute 22, minute 23. Oh, I want you to send this movie. So they seem to have the key. You got the key? Or do they? Oh, I guess they do. Mm. That was needed. And Murphy discovers that Zod is the one who killed Gracie's wife years ago. So he throws Murphy out of the house and locks up the kids in a trunk. You might be wondering, where the hell is the mother in all this? Well, naturally, she's still listening to Gracie's story this whole time! Christ, lady, you give more time to this guy than Peter Jackson does to The Hobbit! Do you believe that love is about second chances? Yes. Don't you recognize me at all? It's your Gracie. I thought certainly. Bringing you back to Gracie Manor would help you. So he tells her that she's the spirit of his lost love, but she has no memory whatsoever. It can't be her. It is her, sir. The gypsy woman prophesied her return. But she uh... doesn't remember. In time she will, sir. I assure you, she will. She'll remember after I beat it into her. I'm not Elizabeth. We wouldn't want anything to happen to the children now, would we? So he tells her that unless she marries Gracie to lift the curse, he'll... I don't know, send her kids through baggage claim? And she begrudgingly agrees. But Gracie is confused by her crying while walking down the aisle. Tears of joy. You can trust your creepy, dark-eyed, whispery-voiced darling. Ooh. But the dignified Madame Leota rolls in like a hamster ball and gives Murphy the motivation not to give up. Hold on! With what? I'm finally gonna follow through on my loving the car joke! Only to have no reaction, thus not following through on the loving the car joke. Gutter ball? Dearly beloved, oh, we are gathered together here in the sight of God. Is Howling Dog an accent? We are gathered here today to celebrate these two. So Murphy hurries to <laughs> save the kids. <laughs> Michael, make it! Dracula fucking McCoyne's asshole. So he defeats the knight. Yeah, I believe it too. And gets the kids out of the trunk to help him save his wife. Yeah, I got a few objections. Elizabeth didn't kill herself. He did it. He's been lying to you all along. That is absurd. Totally absurd. It makes me want to laugh. <laughs> Damn you. Damn you all to hell. Uh-oh. Zod's demon army has come to burn our heroes up. Eddie Murphy is untouched. Pat, what's wrong? Are you all right? But it seems the poison has taken its effect on his wife, leading to Murphy's most genuinely, authentic, phoned-in performance he has yet given. Sarah. Sarah, come on, please. Sarah. Sarah, I love you. Sarah, please, I love you so much. Come on, honey, we had dinner reservations, Olive Garden. Those are so mildly annoying to cancel. But the radioactive Navi turd arrives again, possessing her with the spirit of Elizabeth, who brings Murphy's wife back to life. I thought I lost you too. I'm back, Sarah. I'm back. At least until Pluto Nash. That's a long uphill climb from there. A Sicilian when death is on the line? Angels in heaven to gather at last. The tale is well ended for those who have passed. Now that I agree with. The only people who leave this film happy are those who are dead. Mom, Leota won't shut up. Are we there yet? So I guess not all of the souls were taken. The really annoying ones were left behind. And for some reason, the family decided to keep them. Because... Wouldn't you also want to take them home? It'd be like having a hearing aid that's also a fire alarm. Nothing but pleasant sounds all year round. Which is definitely not what was in this film. What should have been a film on par with the creativity and fun of Pirates of the Caribbean instead turns out to be a series of performances, effects, and story threads all set on autopilot. Yeah, everything feels half-assed with no passion put into it. 
And it's really a shame. There's a lot of possibilities with the Haunted Mansion. Hell, a lot of the characters on the ride already seem to have stories set up, so why make up this one with Eddie Murphy as the focus? With all the reboots that Disney is doing recently, this is one that desperately needs it. I mean, come on, couldn't you see this as like an animated film? Like the same people who did Frozen or Wreck-It Ralph work on the story and the look? It'd be amazing! This is still an incredible opportunity waiting to happen! But, until then, if ever, this is all we have. A wasted opportunity of creativity and imagination leaving little to no impression whatsoever. Ain't no fucking way I'm hitchhiking a ride on this wagon anytime soon. But on the plus side, I think I perfected my whispery voice butler, Sarah Evans. I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember, so you don't have to. Yeah, let me just be clear. I did not grow up with this movie. It, it, I, I, and if you like it, that's okay. But oh god, you can tell like Eddie Murphy's trying to be funny, but like yeah. that is really weird. How at the end they're gonna take the talking, singing statues and. Jennifer Tilly's head, like, that's in a ball, like, why, why not just leave them back there, I don't know, <sighs> yes, yeah, uh, it goes to show you that not every great actor, like, not every single one of their movies is going to be a hit, you know, they are going to have some that are misses, that are just trash, just terrible. Like, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my reaction to The Haunted Mansion by Nostalgia Creek. And, uh, well, everyone, take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.